Hello Capricorn, this is Janae and welcome to your reading. This reading will be for January 15th through the 31st, but my readings are timeless, so whenever you see this reading is when you were meant to see it, when it was meant for you. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you. Of course, if my readings resonate, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. But if you've been watching me, you know all this. Yes. Let's get into it. Okay, Aquarius. What's going on? Excuse me. What's going on with Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn? We have keep your thoughts positive. Yeah, you may be on the little negative side, Capricorn. I'm feeling a little bit of negative energy. Stay away from drama today. Try to, you know, if you feel a conflict coming, stay away from that conflict. You know, move around. Don't kind of dwell in that situation. Because I think it's very important to stay positive at this time, Capricorn. Especially with this full moon just happening. Um, it's that can bring a lot of emotions, a lot of intensity. Um, so I feel like you know, really grounding yourself, staying in a positive mood, a positive around positive people is going to make all of the difference. Yeah, I feel like you're going through a lot of learning experiences, you may be going through things that are kind of very intense at the moment but I feel like this is all to make you better not make you bitter you know what I'm saying um, we have expect miracles so although you're going through this time Capricorn I feel like miracles are on the way you know this is just a learning experience that you're going through this is just one of those things that you know if dramatic people come around you kind of stare clear from them you know um, if you have to work around these people just try to you know stay motivated within yourself um, find a positive outlook you know take positive action work on your intentions you know something that's going to keep you grounded and positive in your situation and it's all going to work out. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? Spirit, give me a message for Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? Strength. Definitely. Of course, I knew that was going to be the first one to come out. Yeah. And I, I feel like you're, you're kind of needing that right now. You're needing to find your strength. You're needing to have courage in your situation. Take time to love yourself, to know your worth, you know. Stay positive, stay grounded. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're definitely, you're definitely a resourceful, you're, you're using your resources wisely, you know. You may, to, may need to focus more on your resources, on things that are around you that keep, can keep you uplift, uplifted, your finances, you know, um, uplifting your thoughts. And you also have the high priestess. So I think it's very important for you to trust yourself, to, you know, use your intuition in this situation. Make sure you're following your own lead, not someone else's lead, uh, Capricorn. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so you currently feel like... Uh, I'm sensing that you feel very stuck, like you're not moving forward. Um, you have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom, so I, you know, I feel like you feel like your options just aren't clear. Um, but I feel like you're kind of stuck in your emotions. You're stuck in this like loop that you're going through. 
I, I feel like you're kind of going in a circle. You're trying to be seen. You're trying to be recognized. You're trying to be heard. Um, I feel like you're you're like feeling like you're just going through the motions, like things just aren't working the way you think they should. But I feel like you're working hard to kind of move past these feelings, these situation that you're going through. I feel like you're having patience, but I, I feel like, hmm, very interesting. We have the Page of Pentacles. There's a lot of earth energy here, so I feel like you're really showing up for this reading, um, Capricorn. Um, and I feel like you're looking for some kind of message, some kind of way out. You're looking for someone who's going to provide you with the action, um, some kind of advice on your situation. Yeah, you're definitely looking for advice. You're looking for someone to come in and tell you how to go about this. Whatever you're dealing with, you're you're looking for someone to kind of lead you through. Yeah. See, these pages are looking at, at each other, so I feel like they're looking at each other for the answers. They're kind of hoping the other one has the answer to whatever it is they're trying to figure out. When, when I'm feeling this, I'm feeling a very confused energy, um, Capricorn. But I feel like the answers that you need, they're coming, definitely. The answers that you need are coming. They're, they're going to come like in this aha kind of moment. Because I feel like with the Ace of Swords on top of the... Um, high priestess I feel like you're just going to get the answers that you need you're gonna find the clarity the it's all gonna come clear to you it's gonna be like this aha moment you're gonna get this new idea um, you're gonna get the answers that you need for the moment. I'm not quite sure what you're dealing with right now. I don't know if this is love or if this is work. With the, all the pinnacles, um, this could be your energy or this could be some kind of a work or financial situation. But I feel like all the answers are coming. Yeah, the hangman. You're going to get the wisdom, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of sacrifice to gain the wisdom that you need. Um, I feel like just by looking at it at a different perspective may not be enough, but I feel like, you know, it, it's coming. You're getting the clarity. You're getting the answers. The answers are coming, um, Capricorn. I keep wanting to call you Aquarius, but no, I just did the Aquarius reading. That's the reason why I'm saying that. Um, no, Capricorn, you are getting your answers. They're coming in clear. And I feel like you're going to have different opportunities. Um, you may have different options that you can choose from. Not all these options are going to be good. Some of these options might lead you into the wrong direction. So make sure you take care of looking into the situation, you know, making a clear decision because I feel like 
all these opportunities may not be good opportunities. So you want to choose wisely. Make your choice wisely in this situation. And you have the fool on the bottom, Capricorn. So I feel like this is going to bring some kind of new journey. You're discovering new ways, new things. You're willing to take a risk. You may be gambling. You may be gambling in this situation. <clears throat> and I feel like you may be gambling with this Seven of Cups because you need to make the right choice. But I, I feel like with these opportunities, it's going to lead you to a new beginning. You're on the come up. Capricorn, you just have to trust that you're going into the right direction. That, you know, wherever wherever the universe is leading you, you need to follow. But you need to listen that, you know, you're being seen and you're being heard um, <clears throat> by whatever it is that you're asking advice from, you know. If you're asking advice from these pages, I feel like these pages are looking at each other like, you know, what? Do you have the answer? No. Do you have the answer? No. You know, I feel like they're kind of going back and forth. Um, so I feel like it's going to take you trusting in yourself to find the answers that you need to come into this mental clarity that you need, some kind of decision that you need to make. Tell me more about this strength card for Capricorn. Tell me more about this strength card for Capricorn. Temperance. So definitely have patience. Don't run blindly, Capricorn. Don't make a hasty decision. Have patience. Find your balance. Find your strength. Take some self-control. Maybe, you know, taking that self-control is going to bring you more strength. You know, it's going to take you where you need to go. But you need to be patient in this situation. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles spirit. Yeah, the Seven of Cups again. So I feel like whatever this is, the this may be this may be the resources that that you have. You have many opportunities. These options that you're coming across are going to bring more opportunities for the resources that you have. You're going to have more opportunities to gain your resources, um, to gain a better perspective on things. I feel like there's many options coming in for you, especially with having two of these Seven of Cups. I feel like you have so many options available um, to gain your resources. Tell me about this High Priestess spirit. Tell me more about this High Priestess for Capricorn. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of weighing your options. Um, Capricorn, but I feel like you're trusting that the option that you're going to take is the best one for you. It's going to take you into a better position, a better situation in your life. I feel like this option is going to make all the difference. You know, I feel like you've been weighing your options for a while, you know, but I feel like you're finally trusting that you're making the right decision. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, I mean the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're in this stuck energy. You're at a standstill, but I feel like you're, you're defeating your doubts. You're kind of coming out of this situation. You're defeating the doubts. Because you want to be seen. You want to be noticed. 
you want to have that success, that recognition. You know, it's something that you are striving for that is pushing you forward. Tell me about this Six of Cups. I'm a Six of Wands. I've been dropping these cards like crazy. Out of all these cards that fell, the devil was the only one that was upright. It was the only one that was forward. You know, so I feel like with this Six of Wands, I feel like you're, someone's blocking you. Someone is bringing in this jealous energy. And this may be you, Capricorn. The devil represents Capricorn. So this may be you really wanting to just push forward and be noticed. But I feel like someone's blocking your intentions. Someone may be holding you back. This also may be you kind of trying to defeat some sort of addiction. And, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed about, Capricorn. We're all addicted, addicted to something, whether it's substances, love, you know, uh, gambling. You know, we're all addicted to something. So, I mean, this could be you battling some sort of addiction, putting a stop to it. Tell me about this page of pentacles, the hermits. Yeah, where this page is trying to find answers, I feel like you're not waiting for this page to help you with the answers. I feel like you're gaining the, this wisdom on your own. You're kind of going within. You're asking. For some reason, I feel like you're deliberating. You know? You're kind of sitting here focused. And I feel like you come up with the answers on your own. Yeah, because with this page, I feel like this page has no idea where they're going, neither. Um, they're kind of stuck in their thoughts. They have no clear way of thinking this through. So I feel like these pages are, these people around you who you're asking advice from or asking for answers, I feel like they're no help. They're no help at all. You're going to gain this wisdom on your own. This is going to come to you on your own. Yeah. And the Seven of Swords. With the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords, we have an Eight. So, this may be someone who's being sneaky, who's being dishonest around you. This is someone who wants you to kind of fall into their trap. But with the Ace of Swords here, I feel like this is not going to take effect. I feel like this is just quick change it's action you're taking action you kind of see this coming so you kind of take action to kind of put this person in their place you're like taking notice of this person right away and like you know what I don't know what you think you're doing but I'm not dealing with it you know your sneakiness or whatever you're trying to get away with you know I see it and this is done you know, I feel like whatever this is, you, you're taking action before it even starts. I feel like you're making quick changes in this situation. With the hangman, we have the 
Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Queen of Pentacles twice. So I feel like this is you, Capricorn, or this is another Earth sign. Um, but I feel like with this wisdom, with this clarity that you're receiving, this sacrifice that you've made, you're being rewarded with even more. I feel like, you know, whatever you had to sacrifice is gone and over with, but I feel like it's moving you into this new direction that's working out more for your benefit than the other situation. You know what I mean? I feel like this all happened for, for you to gain a lot of wisdom, a lot of clarity, and just move into a better position, a better way. This is the universe redirecting you into a, the path that you were supposed to be following all along. What is the Seven of Cups? The Six of Cups. So you may have to go back to a few of these options. When one of these options doesn't work, I feel like you go back to the next option. Um, but I feel like this may be someone who's coming in who's being very generous. Someone's going to provide you some kind of stability, some kind of resource that's going to give you an increase. You have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, so definitely someone's coming in to provide you with that help, with that new knowledge that this may be a job or pro promotion. This may be an investment opportunity that's really starting to take off. This is definitely some kind of new income, um, but it's, it's all going to start out new. And I feel like it comes from these opportunities, this Seven of Cups. It all comes from these opportunities. I want a little bit more clarity. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about the situation. The Two of Cups. Okay. Now, I wasn't feeling like this was dealing with love, but this may have love kind of intertwined into it. Um, or this is something that you're very passionate about. This may be a new partnership that you're getting into. But I feel like this love or partnership is very unexpected. This is something that you really didn't see coming. Yeah, and it's going to make you very happy, very joyful. It's something that's going to be very long-standing. Very interesting. We also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like this person that's coming in, if this is a love situation, this person is going to be your knight in shining armor. They're going to maybe propose, or maybe you're, you'll be the one that's proposing. But I feel like someone is offering you their cup. Someone is really taking notice of you, Capricorn. Someone is, someone's got your back and you don't realize it. Let's see. What does Capricorn need to know? Tell me what Capricorn needs to know in this situation. Harmony and resolution. Yeah, so where you're feeling kind of up and down in this situation, not knowing which opportunity to take, you're going to find harmony. This is all going to be resolved. You're going to have healing in this situation. Um, and you're going to be able to release whatever's not working. Clear, cancel, and release. So, yeah, you're definitely going to be able to clear the energy that's not working and work with the energy that is. Um, so you're going to have resolution in this situation, Capricorn. Let's see. What else do we have for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Yes. 
the answer to your question, Capricorn, whatever your question is, the answer to your question is yes. <laughs> Another yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, you have double com confirmation. Whatever your question is, Capricorn, your question is yes. Yes. It's all going to work out. It's all working for your favor. And we have it's up to you. You are the creator of your dreams, of your universe, of whatever it is. And you need to trust, Capricorn. Trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in the universe that, you know, the right decisions are being made. That you're on the right path. That you're moving in the right direction. Tell me... What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know? We have Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Yeah, so it's going to be a process. Take one step at a time. As long as you keep moving, don't you know, fall into this stuck energy, Capricorn. Don't fall into this stuck energy with this uh, Knight of Pentacles. And we have trust in heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. And we have open communication. Get a weight off of your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Definitely. Whether you know it or not, Capricorn, you are being seen. Someone does see you. Someone does recognize you. Someone is listening to what you have to say. You may not feel like they're always taking it in. You may not feel like you always get the answers that you need from this interaction. But speak your mind. Speak your heart. And, you know, whatever follows, follows. But, and I, I know that you, Capricorn, don't have a problem with speaking your mind. You know, you let people know how you're feeling, how you're feeling, when you're feeling it. So, yeah, keep, keep being you, Capricorn. And all your dreams will come true. This situation is going to lead to a lot of happiness. And it may lead to a love that you're not expecting. So, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Until the next reading, Capricorn, many blessings, love and light.